All right, and welcome back to uh, video three uh, of our four-part series uh, for chapter six and module seven. We're going to be looking through. Uh, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at some some what-if analysis using some of the inherent tools within Microsoft Excel. Uh, we're going to be looking at goal seek, and then we're going to be running some various scenarios just to kind of get an idea uh, of how you can kind of manipulate your data uh, to look at. Uh, input values based on a certain goal um, or again just kind of creating some possible situations and some scenarios so uh, again goal seek is just an excel tool that uh, allows you to uh, put in a defined goal um, and then it gives you basically kind of the uh, uh, the input values that you need scenario manager is again just more of a, a tool that allows you to, to design uh, and define these possible situations um, of of what you uh, may or may not experience, I just kind of give you an idea of range in terms of, uh, of what you may be facing in terms of uh, most likely uh, best case or worst case scenario is is primarily what people look at. Uh, so we're going to go back over to our commission worksheet that we've been working through uh, in the first two modules. Uh, and what we're going to do, again, we're going to be focusing more on kind of monthly sales, net income, and seeing what kind of impact uh, and what kind of scenarios and goals we can run with that. So in order to run the goal seek, we're going to go up to what if analysis. We're going to click on goal seek. And uh, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to set our uh, we're going to set our cell um, as we're going to look at our net income because we're going to try and see what our net income set a goal for our net income um, and we want that value to let's say we want to run $175,000 for our net income for a month and in order to determine that based off of our current commission rate, current tax rate um, and what we have to pay out in terms of commissions as well as income taxes uh, we need to specify and check to see monthly sales what that is. So again, we're setting this up or we're setting our goal, our net income goal of 175,000. Uh, we're then going to see based off of commission rate, tax rate, um, and then those payouts what um, what we would need to achieve in terms of monthly sales to meet that goal. And then one other thing that you'll see is we still have our one variable table and two variable tables up in the uh, uh, in the worksheet. Uh, and what that will do is, given the um, all the, the scenarios, uh, given the, the various changes in commission percentages and in sales tax rates or tax rates, um, it will then go ahead and provide kind of a breakdown of not only um, what what you'll see from a commission rate of two percent or four percent, but also the ranges there. So once we once we define our goal seek cells, our set cell, and then our um, changing uh, changing cell which would be our monthly sales you click OK and you'll notice here that the numbers and I'm going to move my little dialog box out of the way you'll know you'll notice that in order to to achieve a net income of $175,000 we need to reach a monthly sales of $186,170.41 based off of commission rate of 2% tax rate of 4% our payouts for commissions and income tax sales but then again, all of our numbers over here kind of changed in terms of uh, now based off of that in, net income, what would happen if we achieved that monthly sales rate of $186,170.41 if our commission rate fluctuated, uh, if it went up as high as 6.5%, our income would be adjusted then by about $9,000. Um, and that's in the one variable table. In the two variable table, um, you have again we have the breakdown of uh, of the, the commission percentage but we also have the fluctuation or the increase in our tax rate uh, so again you can kind of see a breakdown based off of that monthly sales how our, uh, our our total income would be in terms of our net income would be in terms of any commission and taxes paid out based off of the matrix of those rates here so that is a quick uh, goal seek um, tool within Excel. Again, you want to make sure uh, that when you set up your goal seek that you identify your target value based off of 
uh, again, what you're trying, what your bottom line is. And in this particular scenario, we're looking at net income. And then uh, also identify what uh, cell, what range name, what uh, what uh, data you need to change in order to achieve that based off of your calculation. So one is going to be uh, your final value, one is going to be your monthly sales. Um, so we go ahead and click OK, and it accepts that value. Now what you can do, um, you can do one of two things. You can hit Control Z to back that back out. Um, but as you notice, um, you can go in here and arbitrarily punch in numbers for your monthly sales. But that goal seek allows you to go ahead and define that by just um, putting uh, putting that in there. So it runs that one if analysis. So uh, down and dirty, that's the goal seek functionality within there. The other tool that that uh, we're going to look at is uh, a scenario manager. And I'm going to go ahead and to create a scenario, you go up to, to what if analysis, select uh, scenario manager, and you're going to add a scenario. You're going to give yourself a scenario name, so best case scenario. And again, our changing cell is going to be we're going to identify that as uh, what we want um, what we want that uh, that net income to be. So I'm going to go in here and click and change that to B10. I'm going to click OK, and then. I'm sorry, let me go back here. So our, our scenario uh, is actually going to be based off of our monthly sales. So we're going to look at best case scenario, what we want our monthly sales to look like. So again, we identify that as B2. We click OK. We want to set up our, what we uh, what we project to be our best case scenario. So 100, we'll just say $175,000. You click OK, and now it saved that scenario in there. You can go in there and edit that scenario. You can change the value of it if you go in here and click OK. Again, you can change the value of it. We're going to leave it uh, the same here. But I'm going to add another scenario in here, and I'm going to call it worst case scenario. And again, we're going to focus in on that monthly sales. Click OK. It's going to ask us for what what we're going to what value we're going to indicate as being a, a worst case scenario. And we'll just put um, we'll put $100,000 in there for worst case scenario. And so what you have is you have now two scenarios that you can run. And what you can do is you can move, uh, I'm going to try and see if I can minimize this a little bit. But once you select the scenario, you click show. And it will then put the numbers in in terms of your best case scenario. You get your net income and move this down out of the way a little bit. But again, with our one table variable, our one variable table and two variable table, you have monthly sales, um, and then the two variable table, the monthly sales and tax rate information, uh, those are adjusted based off of your uh, your best case scenario here. So uh, if you want to see worst case scenario, um, it'll plug in $100,000 for uh, your monthly sales, and then again, you can get a, a rundown of what your commission, your taxes, your net income. And then again, based off the information that we have already set up in our two variable and one variable table, it will then give you a rundown of that information. Uh, so again, uh, Scenario Manager allows you to run kind of multiple scenarios. And then uh, one neat little feature that it has uh, is, is a summary. Uh, if you see the summary button down here, you click on the summary, it will give you the ability to kind of focus in on um, creating a, a report that uh, gives you kind of a rundown of all your scenarios. Um, so you can, if you have multiple scenarios you want to run, uh, you can do that. What you want to focus on, again, is selecting uh, those values that are going to change, those those uh, key values here. And again, we're looking at monthly sales, commission rate, tax rate, uh, gross commission, income taxes. So based off of the selection of those uh, cells, we're going to click OK. It's going to create a pivot table. And again, it gives you kind of a rundown of best and worst case scenarios. So based off of your monthly sales and commission rates, you can kind of gauge from a summary perspective what you can see.
Uh, so again, and then as we use with, as we um, learn with the working pivot tables, you can go in there and kind of slice and dice your information. So in a nutshell, that's uh, looking at goal seek again, uh, deriving a uh, an end uh, an end goal that you want to achieve. It gives you kind of a rundown of what you need to uh, what your input values need to be, what you need to earn. And again, and we looked at it from the standpoint of net income of what your sales need to be for that. Uh, and then with, with regard to a scenario manager, you can run a number of scenarios uh, to kind of give you a breakdown of what your income would be in this particular case at various levels. Um, so again, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, please email me at ryanfree at ppcc.edu.